everyone, so I just wanted to do the quick breakdown on the items that I was able to get today. Um, I unfortunately had a little mishap while I was doing my transaction, so I was not actually able to use my $5 off 20 gain um, coupon, but everything still came out to be about $4.50, so I am extremely happy still. Um, it would have been nice to save that extra $2, but I'll take it. Anything under 5 on a transaction like this, I'm cool with. So, there was originally one more of these, and then one more of these um, in the transaction, but for some reason, that uh, second BOGO paper coupon did not work. Um, so I just told them to avoid it off um, and so I forfeited that three dollars which would have um, or actually that six dollars which would have put me over the twenty dollars for the gain um, they had already scanned my five dollar off 25 coupon so that stayed on there but the five dollar um, off 20 since it was a digital that didn't come off um, because of the coupon that did not work However, like I said, I was still able to get these two. Um, this one, we, my husband already put it out because he loves the way these things smell. So this one's already out in our bathroom. Um, and I was able to get these two. So I used one paper BOGO coupon. Um, and then I used a digital $3 off two for those. Then I got these. I used one digital 50 cent off. And then I used two paper 50 cent off for those. And then I used a $2 off coupon for that product right there. The Game Fling Seed it is the 14 count. Um, any scent will do. I just am in love with the Moonlight Brew scent. So that is why I picked that one. So, um, and again, if I were to get everything exactly how I said I was going to do, I would have been able to get another one of these and another one of these. Um, it would have been an extra $6 to my total. Um, and then subtract three dollars for the BOGO that would have put me at seven fifty and then I would have been able to use that five dollar off coupon so seven fifty minus five would have been two fifty which was the total that I said I was going to spend but that's why you always have a limit say uh, if my transaction is under this amount I'll pay it if it's over this amount I will refuse it and I will void it out and I'll walk out of the store and come back and regroup. So that's just how you have to do it. That's part of learning the ropes of couponing, learning um, how to have backups, knowing how to read your receipts, because I had to figure out why it was 450 instead of 250, because honestly I thought that it was still gonna be 250, because I didn't think about the fact that I was taking off $6. So. Like I said, that's all part of the learning process, and that is what we are here for. So if you guys have any other questions or comments about this, just comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of my coupon learning journey with me. And we will learn this together and save us some money. See you guys next time.